started I uh, you know, just got done with the team and uh, it is a tough loss and um, you know we're as disappointed as our fans are this is a, a tough loss and a team that uh, has a lot of pride and had the preparation right to go and uh, we haven't delivered on our performances uh, told them we've been through one quarter and uh, where we sit is at one and three not acceptable for the standards that we've set for one another and so we intend on getting that fixed uh, it'll be work to do that but uh, that's what we intend on doing Coach, you guys were, for the most part, able to um, bottle up Derek Henry today, but they were able to make some pass plays against you guys. How do you, did you assess the performance of your defense overall? Well, number one, we knew that was going to be a factor for sure, and so uh, anytime you get into a point, I was disappointed we didn't get some of the stops there, but uh, you know, the touchdown passes, um, certainly the long ones hurt for sure. Um, on some of them, even the explosive pass that wasn't a score, you know, was something that we had worked and drilled. So not to deliver on those uh, definitely, you know, for sure hurt. And I thought, uh, you know, two to true. And I thought, uh, you know, for three games, he played as well as he can. And, uh, you know, for him, um, you know, no one feels that more than him. And so uh, he was ready to reset and battle for it again. They tested him another time or two for sure. And I certainly responded. Dan, you said the preparation's been good. Um, going into each game, yep. you know, it's basically the same question we asked you uh, last week. Well, you know, what, what's what's going on, and why? Yeah, why well, is the execution so poor? Yeah, you better believe we're gonna look at everything. At it. when you're sitting at one and three, you want to make sure uh, you're finding the answers. And so, what we had talked about was uh, whatever role there is, whether that's where you're at with your game, the unit, the position, you know, collectively as a team. Uh, those are the things that we're going to dig deep into uh, before we get started on our preparation. Uh, you know, take it on the road. But um, yeah, there's nobody, you know, you know, more frustrated and upset than us uh, putting the work in, but when we don't deliver on the results, uh, you want to find that process and tweak it to see how we need to, and we'll continue to do that. Kind of building off of what you just said to him, do you feel there needs to be a drastic change? Do you feel that there has to be a radical change that kind of gets the guy's attention moving on, moving forward? Well, I would say radical meaning like our intensity and, or preparation part, I wouldn't say radical, but I would say is, yeah, when you're not performing well, you look at everything. And uh, whatever that's role or featuring players or you know, however you need to address it, you do, because um, you can't have the one-offs, you know, except for, you know, other than this play or you know, in between the 20, you know, all those things are just excuses to me. So uh, we'll make sure that uh, we dig in hard to the areas that need it and uh, we're nowhere near the team we can be, and uh, we're pissed about where we're at after the first quarter, like the fans are. Like, so the good thing, we're the ones that get to fix it, and uh, we certainly intend on doing that. On the offensive side, when you look at, I think it was two fourth and ones, yep. and you got minus 10 yards, how much frustrating is that when you look at that situation and say, hey, it's, it's one yard? I think you answered your own question. We were, yeah, it's pissed. You know, like that's something that we. We want to have the ability to do, and uh, we'll certainly go there more. Um, I know reflection. There's been other times that's a play in a situation that we like, but we didn't deliver on that tonight. Dan, sorry if you're asked this, but I mean, first of all, do you consider your defense a fairly simple defense to play? I would say that's uh, scheme-wise. There's a lot of um, simplicity to it. I would say the technique and like anything takes a lot of training to get right, but. Uh, they would say it's not exotic if that's what you're looking at. I mean, most people would not consider Tennessee a great offensive team. They came out and they scored on four of their first six possessions. Right. And it wasn't necessarily just a matter of some of your guys missing tackles or whatever. Just from upstairs, it just wasn't. was not just okay. guys missing tackles. It looked like guys were out of position. It just, it almost, from upstairs, it almost looked like they were play, either playing some very complex system or they, no. their heads were just somewhere else. Yeah, certainly not from a complex part of it. Um, on the first pass play, it was man-to-man -man, um, that they scored on a touchdown. Um, so regular man-to-man -man defense, nothing you know unusual or, or that on the one to True. Um, on the one to Isaiah, um, it was his own pressure um, where he was onto the sideline and didn't you know, finish the play where the guy scored. And one deep explosive pass that was uh, you know, a zone defense that Poirier is the one to go back, but I would say if you ask the players, I would say those were ones that they would say they played and done. But um, as it goes into anything, 
we're going to make sure we're going to dig hard to find uh, the best things, the best spots. I didn't have that sense that you did from looking up top that it was um, out of, uh, you know, not in sync or, or out of whack in that way. Um, I'm, you know, I'll look at it tomorrow and something we can definitely revisit. Dan, here in the back, uh, just penalties today wasn't necessarily the number, but it was just the times, the MAC penalty. Uh, the two on that one scoring drive. I mean, how how do you continue to address that with your team and try to alleviate at least those in those situations? For sure, that's uh, you know one of our topics that we had from last week. Uh, we'll continue on the same path of adding uh, officials into our practice. Uh, I'll have to look at the ones with Tyler. I, I don't get a view at the ones of the hands to the face. You guys may have you know up in the press box uh, to see you know on those fouls on on Ty on the inside. Um, on the one for Mac, I think definitely that's one that we can fix because that's one I don't think he has to at the end where I think it was a uh, personal foul on the one with Mac. Hey coach, how do you generate more of a pass rush? Well, you love to be in some of the third downs uh, that favor that um, or some of the second downs that do that. Um, some's by pressure, some's with the four man rush. Um, so those are generally the ways to do that for us specifically. You know, there's times I thought I'll have to go back and look to see sacks only or pressures and hits. So that's what I generally will look at and see did we affect the quarterback. Um, by no means did I feel like uh, you know there were times where we didn't, uh, but I want to make sure I look at uh, all the way through before I can answer it fully. Last one in the back. Coach, I know you haven't had a chance to fully digest the game or obviously look at film, but what's your initial thought on maybe why another slow start out of the gates for the Falcons? I wish I had a, a you know real clear answer for that, and um, but the fact is that is the truth, and uh, so we'll make sure we went back to get tied up, and then you know went behind again from the half. So uh, we'll look at it hard, and I addressed some things on that last week, but obviously uh, we still have work to do. So like I told the team inside, you know we're not where we want to be, and there's things that need our attention, and we're just the ones to do it. So put that on, onto the list because uh, we're not playing like we're capable of and we certainly intend on doing that so as we hit the road so um, I came in at first I said you know it's a tough loss we're as upset you know what the fans are that way they were in good energy for us uh, to start off so for us to start slowly we're, we're disappointed as well thank you